everybody back to the Independent Investor Channel for my M1 Finance Tutorials. This is something that I regularly roll out on the channel. I haven't done these for a while, and the portfolios have, have grown. Yeah, they do a funny thing when you ignore them. In this video, I'm going to jump you into the dividend growth portfolio comprised of 99, 95 holdings uh, across all 11 sectors. I've strategically broken up the sectors. Uh, I'll give you some insights. Uh, on how I have done that and actually go through the total comprehensive list of the dividend holdings that make up this dividend growth portfolio. As mentioned in this video, I will provide you a courtesy copy of the dividend growth portfolio in its entirety, all 95 stocks. All you have to do is just email me and I'll send you a link to the portfolio in its entirety for direct use or indirect referential use. Uh, and uh, I do that free of charge as a service to my subscriber base to the Independent Investor Channel. With that, guys, we'll kick in here and take a look at the performance of the dividend growth portfolio. Another exciting opportunity to share with you guys an update on a portfolio that is somewhat novel uh, in its approach, but it is uh, working out fantastic for me. Uh, this is my dividend growth portfolio. This is comprised of close to 100 holdings. I think I'm just shy of that at 90, 97, 98, something like that. doesn't really matter. Um, had the account since December of 2019, so just under two and a half years old. It's performed fantastic. Uh, bring your attention over here to the earned dividends, which are uh, ever increasing with this portfolio, I dividend reinvest or portfolio reinvest the dividends as they come in. So I don't render any income off of this. There's no point to that. That's not why I built this. I built this to um, get up to a sizable six-figure amount uh, and continue to fund this on a dollar cost schedule, which is fairly modest. Uh, it works for me. It allows me to segue a little bit of surplus capital to the tune of about $150 every two weeks. So $300 a month goes into this. I don't miss the money. It goes in here. It helps embolden the bottom line of the portfolio. And uh, it's done quite well for me. The market gains here at, at just uh, over $8,300. Total dividends rendered to the portfolio just shy of $2,000. Total capital gain in this portfolio, $10,302. So nothing too crazy. We've got to stack a high society for doing nothing but just investing in the stock market. So um, you be the judge. Is investing gambling? If you went to the casino and won $10,000, you would have thought that your life had changed. In just under two and a half years, I've been able to build this portfolio up to something and didn't rely on luck to do so. I relied on a good, sound plan. And that plan has to do with how... I've broken down this portfolio. I'm going to share it with you now. Here is the chart over time, slightly uh, angled and upswinging to the right. We can go down here and check here. It looks like we're down in a couple of sectors, which is totally fine. For the most part, the portfolio has done quite well. Um, we're looking at energy being the top for outperformer here. Technologies will catch fire uh, with those latest earnings that have come out. And healthcare has been just a silent killer throughout the entire uh, year and into last year as well. Um, so we we don't uh, leave out any sectors here. We want to make sure that we're gaining uh, from all of the sector inflows as appropriate. But these sectors in and of themselves, I'll click in here and just show you technology, for example. So you guys have an idea. These are comprised of single stock. Okay. And these are comprised of single stock. Uh, with the emphasis on dividends. Now, you might be wondering why I don't own Apple, why I don't own Microsoft in here. Those are comprised or held in other uh, accounts, much larger accounts in much larger amounts. Okay, this dividend portfolio was aimed to take the stocks that I wanted to own in lighter amounts and group these together. Now, these are wonderful companies. Cisco in and of itself could be a core holding. Um, but uh, I've, I've chosen to really allocate my capital in this way, and it's really paid off. It's really been uh, quite nice for me. <clears throat> Let's go back here to the portfolio and just uh, take a quick look. Let's see if we can jump back in here. So that's how that's comprised. So that's technology. 
and then we jump in here to staples just to give you another example of how I've got this broken down. Now I do have this portfolio uh, to share uh, with the grander subscriber group. You're going to have to email me and I will share this portfolio. Um, I do not uh, seek out affiliate income anymore through M1 Finance. I actually just share these free of charge. So all you have to do is email me and I'll send you a link to this entire portfolio in its entirety, all 98 holdings. So this is just the staple section. This is quite large companies like Diageo, you know, uh, BTI, British American Tobacco, Kellogg, Unilever, Colgate, Palmolive, Altria Group, Walmart, Proct uh, Philip Morris, Heinz, Procter & Gamble, Mondelez, Kimberly Clark, uh, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, and Costco to round out the top end of this group here. Now, this is just staples, okay? So, uh, about 13 holdings in there, I guess, is what I counted. 15 consumer staples. So, very cool. Let's kick in here, and we'll look at the total comprehensive list of the holdings. Um, 95 holdings, so close. I've got a little pay dirt here. I've got a little leeway. The reason why I'll leave a little bit at the top is for when some of these large companies, which these are beastly large companies, okay, um, when they spin off, um, I'll, I will be forced to sell the shares if I carry 100 holdings in here. So I carry a little bit of insurance buffer at the top of this portfolio because 100 is the max, and M1 Finance won't allow you to hold any more than 100 uh, in one given uh, portfolio pie. Uh, so I, I hold a little bit of room at the top. Otherwise, I would fill this up with 100, but I've had that happen before uh, where I think it was Exxon that spun, spun off Woodford, I believe, or, or Woodside um, as a subsidiary, and I earned shares in it, and I was forced to have to buy into the company or uh, uh, parlay off the shares. But you can see here from a dollar perspective, I'm about a buck away from 1,000 on my top end holding. So you can see here how each of these holdings – you know, only one is close to to a thousand dollars in the holding with with Shell and then McDonald's, uh, leading up uh, second largest holding here. These will change over time as the dollar amounts change, but you get down into the seven hundred mark. I've got three seven hundred dollar holdings and a good handful of six hundred dollar holdings here, uh, with Cisco and AbbVie, Southern Company, Duke Energy, which are great dividend payers. There's Travelers Insurance Company, a Dow component. Down in Intel, we know that that's been really crushed. IBM has just not gone anywhere in the last 10 years. Um, that's fine. I'll just you know render the dividend and be happy to do so. Home Depot here, American Tower, REIT, Goldman Sachs, um, Digital Royalty, which has just been crushed here on the REIT side of the house, which is fine. Um, uh, MasterCard has done well. Um, this has been a real disappointment. Disney has just really underperformed. They'll get their act together and turn that story around. Merck has been fantastic. Starbucks, WP Carey, Exxon Mobil, fantastic. Look at that Sanofi, fantastic performance there. Dominion being down, I would buy Dominion here, certainly. Texas Instrument, that's a surprise to me, as well as Stag with Data Storage. That's a surprise to me, those two, but it is what it is. I mean, um, if, if, if I was investing in the stock market, never to be surprised. I don't think I would be doing it right. Look at Lindy. Look at Lind. That's a fantastic holding right there. And look at Air Products. Mm -hmm. Two of my favorite in the material sec uh, sector. You bet. T-Mobile doing great. That's actually my carrier. Um, not sure what all the hype is about. I don't think they're the best. I think Verizon is the best. And Verizon gets no love at all in the stock market. Pepsi, TJ Maxx. There's Enbridge. There's Costco up a $100 bill. Right, AT and T still struggling to get out of their own way. Um, I believe that they will in time. There's a good stretch of negative there. Leggett and Platt down pretty good. I would buy Leggett and Platt right here. Mm -hmm. AMD, Medtronic, Caterpillar, Morgan Stanley. There's Bristol Myers Squibb down a touch. I would buy Bristol Myers here. <laughs> Coca Cola, uh, Medical Properties, REIT. That's pretty disappointing. Verizon very disappointing there. On the Dow component, Verizon, very disappointing. Cold storage, uh, it's actually doing quite well. That's actually up, contrary to uh, the rest of the holdings in the um, in the REIT space. Uh, John Deere, one of my faves. Kimberly Clark, United Health, 
almost own a share of her. So you can own fractional shares within M1. And so it's kind of cool. You can own piece of these companies like Cummins, right? Bank of America down huge with the banking debacle going on. That happens. Well, it'll, it'll recover when banks decide to recover. There's Raytheon Technology, one of my favorites. There's Mondelez, Northrop Grumman, Heinz, General Dynamic, FedEx, Warner Brothers has just been an absolute disaster since it was spun off 3M. Um, Altria Group doing fine. The banks, again, all the banks are going to be down right now, which is totally fine. We'll buy the sector when it's down. JP Morgan, that's a big surprise there. Um, but uh, yeah, some pretty good red on the bottom end of this. MetLife, some insurers are down. Anything financial rate related is down, and it's fell, fallen to the bottom of the list here. Um, I will look for that to recover. But like I said, uh, funding this account with about $300 a month, it's a program that anybody can adhere to. You choose the amount you fund. Whether You don't have to do $300. You could do $500. You could do $50. Um, the idea here is that we're offering relative ideas that the masses can enjoy and seek out their exposure to the markets and become a participant in financial markets as opposed to a spectator. Guys, I appreciate you tuning in. We will kick you back and we'll conclude the video. And so we've come out of the dividend growth portfolio. I hope you've enjoyed. This is a cool way of spreading out your wealth. There's going to be pockets of weakness in any of the sectors at any given time. And this is a cool way of absorbing that uh, pressure. Um, I, I don't think you're going to get rich overnight investing in this capacity, but I don't think that's the point. And I think a lot of people underestimate the power of protecting your money to the downside. Yes, going for capital appreciation. Uh, this portfolio has done that. Going for dividend growth. This portfolio has done this. But I think what a lot of investors miss is the seeking out protection to the downside. And this portfolio has held up in the face of volatile markets like no other portfolio um, that I have seen. I've been very satisfied with its uh, its ability to weather storms and be defensive in nature. I really hope you guys appreciated the transparency of this offering here. If you enjoy the content, I'd invite you to subscribe to the channel. We do all kinds of different products uh, on the Independent Investor channel. We have the independentinvestorgroup.com. That is independentinvestorgroup.com, where I offer my Viper Group. You can sign up for a year's membership on that offering. Uh, we do have social media presence on TikTok, Instagram, uh, Twitter, as well as Facebook, which is now Meta. We have a Facebook group there, which I would cordially invite you to join. If you enjoy the content, man, leave your comments at the bottom. Uh, give me a shout out. Uh, tell me what's going on. Hit the thumbs up on the video. It helps to support the message. And as always, good luck in your investment future.